What's going on everyone? NCAP24 here from playbook.gg. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and look at the video number two for the pistol bunch tight end scheme that we're doing here on YouTube. Yesterday, we went ahead and focused on basically uh, verticals and base plays that we used off of that. Today, we're going to look at verticals again, and we're going to show you how to beat cover two using several different ways of uh, route combinations to do so. So let's go take a look at it. The first thing I want to point out is that I'm on the left hash mark because I do like to have the bunch to the short side of the field when running this scheme. And what I'm going to do is basically show you how this X route is really the money maker when it comes to this play, whether we're throwing it to him or whether we're using him as a decoy route to get the cloud flat or soft squat to match. He is really the one that makes this play run against cover two. So the first thing I want to do is show you how matching occurs. What I'll do is take this B and motion him over, very similar to how we did it um, in some of our base plays, and I'm going to put him on a comeback, okay? Now, what you're going to notice here is that the X is going to run his route, and the cornerback that's above B, that's right now in a cloud flat, is going to run with X, leaving the B wide open on the sidelines, right? Just time that throw, catch that ball, and get up the field. Something that's really, really simple that is going to make the user have to guard it himself if he wants to stay in cover two and would open up the rest of the field. So if you're in a situation like this, easiest way to do this is to put this guy on a comeback and then you want to do something with the Y to put the user in conflict. If you have a slot A apprentice, which I would say is probably the best way to run this, put him on a post, put the A on a streak. Now you've got a two-way option to where if the user wants to jump the left side of the field, you're going to have the Y over here on the right be able to catch this and get up the field. That slot post will almost always get the user to have to stay in the middle of the field, giving us the ability to work the sidelines. Now, if you have somebody that you have like as an outside apprentice, you could put Godwin over here on a fade stop and smart route him and basically do the same thing. What's nice about the fade stop, I feel like it's a little bit of a quicker route than a comeback. And you're going to be able to basically throw this ball right here, catch that ball, get yourself some yards. You can see that we're getting all the way to the 35, right? So we started on the 40-yard uh, line, and then we got to the 35. So you're talking about a 25-yard gain. Very, very simply done, right? So those are two ways of easily being able to do that. Now, the next way I'm going to show you is kind of do kind of like a base play where we're going to move this guy over, and we're going to put him on a streak. And then we're going to put the A on and in, okay? Now, the Y, we can basically do anything with. We can put them on that same post if we want, put them on whatever it is. But if you do something like this, what we're going to do is we're going to bank on the uh, the cornerback on the left following the X, leaving his side open. So we're going to playmaker the A up the field. So watch what happens. The A goes across the field. We're going to playmaker him. And now you're going to see how he's going to be able to get up the field and get that same 25 yards. Really simple playmaker. And this, this is going to be something that you can do, you know, without having any route apprentices. If you want to leave the Y on its route, that route actually does a really good job of splitting the um, two safeties if they don't have a deep third. So that is something that a user would have to watch anyways. But you're going to see here, once we play maker up the field, we're going to be able to catch that, get ourselves the yards and get some good yardage, right? So those cover two options are really, really nice when it comes to using that route in a way that... Um, we're basically clearing out the zone of the cloud flat or, or the soft squat. Now, another thing we can do is just put the B on a smart routed out and do the same thing, right? In this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy over, okay? When I do that, what you're going to see is that we're going to have that ability to get that same type of action that we're looking for. We're going to get those guys to basically go up the field, and we're going to be able to throw that ball underneath, right? Something that's really simple something that's going to be a option for you to hit that player underneath as a cover two to be able to, again, just to get more yards where you can. So now let's go ahead and look at the X route and show you how this route can beat cover two by itself without having to um, basically get matching principles. All we're going to do is put the B on a streak, Y on an out, and then the A is optional. I can put them on a delay fade, which is nice because if they go to the outside, you just basically throw it to him. But all you're going to do with X is take a one-step motion and when he goes to the outside, he's going to go around the player. You want to throw it to him. You can either rack catch it or catch it with possession, depending on where you are in the field, and get your yards. I'll show you two one more time. Be on a streak, Y on an out. Go ahead and do the one-step motion. You're going to see that he's going to go around his player. And then once he goes around there, hit that player, catch that, get yourself yards, right? And this will also work on the wide side of the field. 
Um, it does not go to the outside of the player, it goes to the inside, but because of his angle, you're usually able to have a good opportunity of getting this done. So same exact route formation, uh, route um, combination, do the one step motion. You're gonna see that he's gonna cut to the inside of his player, and now you're gonna be able to throw this ball over there and catch that ball and get yourself the rack, right? So depending on how you like it, you're gonna be able to do that. I wanna show you one other setup that I like to do on the wide side of the field using a different motion to kind of mix it up. Take Godwin, that motion we've done a lot. If they're not base aligned, what I mean by that is that, that the player is above um, Godwin is, is in this position here, you know, about three to five yards off of him and he's over the top, he's not basically outside. What he'll do in this situation is he'll get sucked to the inside, okay? When he gets sucked to the inside, we're gonna be able to get X to the outside and you're gonna see how you're gonna be able to throw this ball just the same over his head, right? So that time he was able to match decently on him. A lot of times he, he is not. What I mean by that is he never recovers. So let, let me show you here. That time we were able to just throw it over to him because of the speed. But you can see that a lot of times that, that guy is going to get over the top here. Now we're going to be able to throw this ball over here and catch our ball, right? So these are just ways that you can use this against cover two in a way that basically attacks it in its um, soft spots using um, either matching principles to help you with that or just this unique route in itself to get some easy yards against cover two and force them out of that coverage. So that's what we wanted to do on today's video. We'll come back with a different coverage shell on tomorrow's video of either verticals to kind of show to you or just another play in general in order to make sure that you see that there are different options to do. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out these videos below for the most helpful Madden tips. If you're looking to learn from the best players in the world, head over to www.playbook.gg for the most detailed game plans in Madden.